Hey right guys, Trish Much is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Severance Season 1. We ended the last episode, I was going to watch episode 5 straight after episode 4, but I actually ended up not having time <laughs> to do that. So that was kind of sad, but we ended on a bit of a cliffhanger with Heli potentially, I'm going to go with probably not, but potentially trying to uh, off herself <laughs> using the elevator, which again, she is smart if, if like di thinking of different ways to try and get out of this situation because each one has felt like it's not been just a throwaway kind of attempt to to do something like say swallowing the letter and then trying to use her arms to get the the message out there and now she's going to try and kill herself but do it in the elevator so then the real version of her uh, ends up hanging as well but like i say i don't think it's going to work because i don't think they're going to kill heli off in up five but i guess we'll see so if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe as we'll do a severance every single week and then i don't know what's going to replace severance yet i'll have a think about that closer to the time because i like that we have these shows that are quite smaller at the moment like we have the boys uh succession and severance so quite shorter shows and i want another short show to kind of replace this so we'll have a think if you have any suggestions leave them down below and i'll take them into consideration as well but for now let's do this i'm so ahead on this like i don't actually need to watch severance for like two weeks i don't think but i just really want to oh we're starting straight off of it mad could you put legs on the no was the elevator going back up i know just wrapping up sorry i love the work mm. first He's gonna see her, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna save her. I like Hallie, so I wanted to live, but it's like she clearly wants out. Oh, okay, this guy's on it. He's had enough, probably. At this. So, oh, and again. Jesus. Oh. Help! Help! God. They're just gonna take it to the break room, aren't they? So grim. Okay? I don't know if she's okay. Oh, she's alive. Kelly, get in the elevator. Why? Why does he need to get in the elevator? <laughs> He's just gonna switch and like not know anything about it. And there you go. <laughs> that's that's mad acting. That is. Good. This is Scott. You have a good evening. Will do. Same to you. And he's back. He's instantly going to go back to like being traumatised. <laughs> Such good acting, dude. Have a seat, Mark. She's definitely alive. She's in the hospital. She has severe bruising, but thankfully no permanent damage. Oh, God. And she will be back at her desk in a few days. <laughs> Mad. This happened on your watch, Marcus. And you can thank Kier himself it went the way it did. Have a productive day. Oh, Patricia Rodkett is not happy, mate. Every character is kind of doing something a little bit rogue. Now they're starting to not break out the cycle, but like just with the book and then the guy visiting. The other guy, blanking on names at the moment, but... What separates man from machine is that machines cannot think for themselves. Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. They are made of metal. Of course, yes, yes, yes. Whereas man is made of skin. If... It's not accurate anymore. <laughs> I mean, they are technically a chip in someone's head, so... A good person will follow the rules. A great person will follow himself. Bullies are nothing but bull and lies. Bull, hell yeah. <laughs> Bullies are bull eyes. Ran the diagnostics. And? Is that PE? Full synaptic coupling. Peter Kilmer's memory was reintegrated. You were right, Harmony. We should celebrate. Hmm. Or not. <laughs> Hi, right, Mark. Looking. It's freaking. Listen, I know you're still in um, severed Mark form, but uh, Devin's at four centimeters, so this baby is officially coming. Yeah, if you had an emergency, you wouldn't even know till after work. I mean, we're clearly seeing that here, but. Did you forget that I was going to be here? Yes. 
slightly. Rickon is doing this thing where he cries over her. Right. So, of course um, he is. I'm giving them some privacy. Hey, thank you for uh, you know taking care of her. Yeah, of course. I just don't want to be like my father. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good you're getting it out now. Yeah, well done, Rickon. Now's the perfect time to do that. Wow. Dude, did you see the one next door? Yeah. It's like psychotically expensive. Mm. It's like a freaking lodge. I hate whoever's in there. It's just... You pay for a lodge to give birth in. The fetus is drawn to clear air. Purging secrets can create a soul void that speeds the labor. Okay, okay we, sure. We want that. Oh, we do. Babe, maybe not right now. It's fine, I'll start. Um, Mark. I love you, and I feel hurt that you haven't called me to thank me for the book yet. Oh, <sighs> There, good. The book? We left a copy of his new book on your doorstep. Five days ago, five... Oh yeah, he wouldn't have even seen it because he got balls straight in. That was an advanced copy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm okay. Rick is just it's freaking fine, out about the book. Fine. Mark, would you help me hang the kelp? Oh, yes. Hang, hang the kelp. Hanging oh. kelp now. Do you really want me to explain it? Yeah, please no. <laughs> Even he was like, don't make me explain it, please. Hi, I'm so sorry. I'm another pregnant lady. I'm from over there. I just came out on a coffee run and I got distracted by your beautiful coffee and I was wondering if there's any chance you could hook me up. No, leave my property now. Okay. Yeah. Yes, thank you. How do you handle it? A lot of help, I guess. Yeah. She seems Holy very shit, zen. About <laughs> this tavern, so nice. You rich? Yes, I'm just extremely <laughs> loaded. Cool. She didn't want to answer that at all. Was she looking around like clearly I'm rich? If the thief reads the book, it will have been worth it. In fact, I bet you he turns himself in afterward. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I know the last time you were in a medical facility was for Gemma. Okay. We go in there. This is a medical facility. Ooh. I made friends with the richest lady in baby camp. <laughs> I don't know if you made friends with her. She just kind of stared at you. Quiet, but she was nice. Need me to tell a secret? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Give me your direction. I like a sister. She seems cool. Well, so uh, I kind of think Lumen might be up corrupt. Up, up something, yes. What do you mean? Both. Like with your paychecks? No, I've just been hearing stuff. What if she works for the mark and she hasn't told you? Do you remember the business man? Oh! Uh. 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 Holy oh, I think it actually Anna. worked. Okay. Charlie, you okay? He uh, uh. told her a secret, and now she's ready. <laughs> well, I guess it'd be kind of cool giving birth here. <laughs> if there's any place you want to give birth, at least it's not some hospital where it just smells of... Piss, I guess, in catheters. It's kind of the same thing, but... So this will be any Heli's first conscious experience since the hanging. <laughs> God. That was mad that she's like... It's important your eyes be kind. She tries to hang herself. Then days have passed, but for her it's been like three seconds. And she's recovered. <laughs> Do you know how to make your eyes kind? Yes, they're very kind eyes, Mark. <laughs> oh, God. So no is the answer to that. He looks like a robot. Android, Mark, literally. You're okay. Well, I don't know about okay, Mark. Probably traumatised. Oh, God, that's not what you want. <laughs> Does make you want to hang yourself even more. So they locked away the extension cords and other dangerous items. So, you know, you should be safe. I don't know, she could stab herself with that fork while going down a lift, so... We should hide inspirational handbook quotes around the office <laughs> for her to yeah. stumble upon. That'd be nice. She just little Easter egg on. Perks, dude. Of course, of course, yeah. You come up with the idea, that's where. Miss Casey. Miss Casey, my favourite character. Oh. Just throwing that out there. No one told me. For no 
Miss Coburn's orders. You know, I've been uh, exhibiting signs of that. <laughs> you one of those? No. Uh, <laughs> he really shot that. I can't believe the guy. <laughs> She's 42, bro. How's that even possible? Did you get all that? Hey, it might be important information. Are you upset? If you're upset, you can request a hug. I know. I'm good. Do it. Request a hug. A hug always helps. Ooh. Oh god, here we go again. A sludge flying everywhere. Nice. <laughs> What does it mean? Why is it only him that sees it? Because this sludge was in the intro as well. Or ink? It looks like maybe ink. Perfect. Oh. And I, I'd like to seek Bert's counsel. You boy. Oh, that's not. <laughs> God. All these paintings have hidden meanings a bit. Like, some of them have been obvious, like the guy with the like whip and stuff. I'm sorry, Irving. We must have sent this print job here by mistake. You weren't supposed to see this. What are these? Nothing. Nothing, right. A joke for Miss Cobell. It's the Owen D. Coup, isn't it? One that Dylan talks about. Huh? Did that actually happen, Mr. Milchip? Of course not. Right, okay. We're going to take his word for it. His ironclad proof. Milchip says it didn't happen. And why would one department physically attack another? I don't know why. Just then give them all the other department's resources. Does O and D know that? Could I have Your new friend who lied to you about the size of his department? How do we know what else he isn't being kosher about? He has a point. I like that they have a bit of backstory to like the actual offices and the, the departments. They all start fighting each other. I'm trying something new with Miss Casey. Keep it between us. Oh, he will. Does he have, like, a personality? Why is he so loyal, I guess, is the word I'd go for. You know, I'm sold on so many of these characters. Irving's great, Mark's great, Helly's great, Patricia Arquette's great. I like Mark's sister. Dylan I need a bit more of. She seems fine, though. And Miss Casey, of course. Please describe for me your time in the restroom. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. I'm so sorry, Miss Casey. I just, I, I, ugh, I turned and... Bet you're drunk. What'd your mouth taste like when you got in today? <laughs> Heliar, you have to come with me to distribution supply. That's okay. I, I can watch Heliar while you're gone. It's only a few minutes, right? Distribution supply is eight minutes. Eight whole minutes? Damn. Four minutes there, four minutes back. You know, I go to distribution supply all the time so I could, uh, help you. <laughs> you know, actually, Dylan's cool. I like him trying to shoot his shot. That's, that's fine. Good luck, I'll say that. Careful out there, boss. Weird energy about. True. And they've gone, Miss Casey, sorry. You've broken Miss Casey's trust. <laughs> no! Katie's map. Since you've been gone, I've been trying to recreate it. I'll oh, recreate it. Okay, cool. I thought maybe if we work on it together, we can. I was gonna say I don't know if I like his map, but because he shredded it. I'm not your new PD. <laughs> Mark took it to look at pen caps. <laughs> now. They're fine. Just at the end of the storage wing. Perchie is in the conference room. Oh, drop that one. That's her. That's her first breaking out of her android mode. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
Well, you know, I was turned around. Turned around? <laughs> I love him. I was looking for you. I hadn't heard from you. Well, I... Dylan, go! Ah! Why? Oh my god, man! What are you doing? He was coming at you! Let him out! Right. Him out. Okay, out. sure, what sure. You saw that painting you want to get disemboweled today? Cock block. I know what you're up to. What is wrong with you? Oh Open the door. Open the door. We need a manager. We need a manager. Marvin! <laughs> Come on, Matt. Where the fuck are we? Look. Yeah, I think you're a bit lost it. here. I told her I wanted out and she told me I wasn't a person. My own self told me that. What I want is for her to wake up while the life drains out of her and to know it was mm. me who did it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, surely no one likes their Alti version. Because they put him here in the first place. I checked the whole storage wing. No sign of him or Heli. Shit, o and D's probably killed them already. Sure, mm. sure, 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 yeah. Oh. Our department chief and new hire have gone missing. Do you know where they are? No, I, j I just came to see you. And the I believe Bert. Why not come right to the office? I didn't know why you hadn't been back and I didn't want to scare you again. Like with the hand thing. You didn't scare me. I embarrass you. Look, no. I was working on a joke. Joke? The same when I got in. Prove it. Oh, tell it. I hadn't worked it out yet. Why did you lie <laughs> about the number of people in your department? Because we don't trust you guys. Right, you, right, right. The king of fucks don't trust us. I do. It's literally silly. Like they say, you all have pouches. Pouches? What? Like to carry young? Yes, according to some. Oh, like kangaroos. Okay. Have a larval offspring that will jump out and attack if we get too close. Okay, that could happen, yeah. The larva eventually eats and replaces you. Oh. Which Irving would solve the mystery of your youthful energy. <laughs> These two are great. Earth. Earth. Where are you going? Yes. Are you sweet on this guy? Yes. <laughs> this guy's Owen Goddamn D, who are duplicitous snakes to a one. It's not safe. Nah, I'm gonna say let's give him a pass on this one. He doesn't sound like a baby. He'd be like constantly crying if he's crying. Oh, it's not a baby at all. A little lamb. Oh, look at it! <laughs> Is there more than one? Hell yeah. Now this would be a good job. Out of all the departments, this is the best one so far. They're not ready. You can't take them yet. They're not ready. It isn't time. <laughs> well, get the hell out of here. Go! What do you mean you can't take them as well? More questions, let me run. Mm -hmm. There's definitely no painting by that name. Who <laughs> coughed him? What kind of barbarities were we enacting? It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't think it was real. Relationships beyond the uh, platonic are frowned upon anyway. Is that what we are? <clears throat> Well, they didn't well, waste any time, uh, these two. At this time, I uh, formally release you from MDR's supervision. There is something in the storeroom I'd like to show you. <laughs> and Dylan, of course. Of course, yes. Invite Dylan along. What's he going to find? Oh, that was the one that got printed off. Makes you wonder. Something oh, wrong. looking all Get together. Okay, Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. He claims he doesn't know about this painting. Meanwhile, it's sitting right there on his shelf. That's not O and D, Dylan. It's us. Oh. This one's never gone into the. Their previous page. department was the one to eat it's one. Of one data refinement calamity. Okay, but we've never done anything like that. Why the hell would there be two versions of the same painting? I mean, what if the goats are the numbers? Like we're deciding which goats live and which ones. Oh, God. Oh. I doubt it's that. Hopefully um, not. <laughs> if you give me the map, I'll clean it up. Hey. 
It seems like Han is kind of done with trying to escape for now. Hey, there we go. Oh, hi. Somehow uh, found each other. We were just heading back from our mental health walk. <laughs> You're both unhurt. We we are. I'm glad. <laughs> I was scared. Sorry. You've made Miss Casey scared, bro. The surest way to tame a prisoner is to let him believe he's free. This is a cure quote for everything. Right. How many more departments are you going to let them find? I'll have a word with Mark. They are starting to I find quite careful. a few departments. Upstairs wouldn't look kindly on this. Excuse me, everyone. This room's so big for like such a little amount of people. They're from MDR. They're friends. Friends? <laughs> They don't look very friendly. <laughs> Irving smiling. <laughs> oh no. So yeah. Another banger, another banger. This show's so good. It did kind of given us more questions, which I like, because again, if it's given us like too many, but it's it's still giving us answers as well at the same time. Uh okay, we've got a comment here. Dude, what in the fuck is going on? Aren't answers supposed to get revealed throughout the episodes? Why is this show getting more and more confusing? Because it's a mystery. <laughs> it's literally a mystery. What are you on about? Uh, Adam Scott physically trying to make his eyes kind. Yeah, that was a moment. Uh, yeah, I, like I say, this... Probably more so the last episode, but this episode as well really sold me on a lot of the side characters. I think Harmony seems interesting... Um, I liked Mark's sister this episode. I think Bert and Irving are great. Dylan's like I don't not like Dylan, but he's probably the weakest for me. Are the main lot, but he's still good. Like say he's the weakest for me, and he's still good. Says a lot about the side characters. Miss Casey, we love Miss Casey. I wouldn't hear otherwise. Uh, yeah, just and Hallie of course and Mark are really great. Even Seth, I just have to read the name off here, but like he plays that role very well. He doesn't give a lot, but. Hopefully there's more beneath, which I assume there will be. Yeah, this wasn't as strong as some of the other episodes have had, but it was still really good. I'm glad that we kind of had 15-ish minutes of, like, Alty Mark kind of just hanging with his sister while she gives birth as well, and then coming back to the trauma of Heli trying to kill herself and then trying to make sure she's okay as well, and then learning a little bit more about maybe this, this war that went on uh, between the departments, which is interesting, so... Yeah, another really, really good episode. Like I say, I won't say quite as good as the last one, but still very good. I'd probably go maybe a high 7 for this one, like a 7.8 out of 10. Very close to an 8 for me. But uh, yes, yeah, really good stuff. I'm really enjoying the show, so I don't really have any flaws of it at the moment, to be honest. Just curious where it's going to go and if it can keep this mystery element going uh, past this season. I'm assuming it sticks with it for this season, but... Is this one of those shows that I think could maybe be limited to three seasons or is it going to go on for quite a while? We shall find out in the years to come, of course. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode six. Until then, take care. Peace.